all right so let us go ahead and look at how to create a basic simple task now all the tasks uh, with the free tasks are created with a function x task create now the parameters they could look daunting in the first place but uh, these are really simple to understand if you you know understand what exactly it does so basically this function creates a task now you can assign a name to it and you could configure the amount of stack that it will consume then it could you could set the you know priority for it uh, and then you could pass some parameters to the task and if this task was created by some other task you could also you know specify or you know you could specify a handle which which this task returns so let us look at all those parameters in detail now the first uh parameter here my task 1 is the actual code or is the actual function that will run when you know this this task comes into the running state now the next parameter is the uh, dummy name or you know a descriptive name for the task so this can mainly be used for debug debugging a particular uh, task now the third parameter it is the amount of stack or it is the amount of ram of the controller that this particular stack is allowed to use and uh, so uh, in this in in our examples you could see it as config minimum stack size which is if you look at the code it is somewhere around 80 bytes so it is exactly 80 bytes that this task is allowed to take the next parameter is the Uh, is a pointer uh, which can be passed to this task, and this pointer can pass parameters to this task. And in the first example, since it's we want to make it very simple, you are not passing any parameters to this task. And next is the priority. So the priority, uh, it um, so you can pr assign priorities to ta uh, to task. Now this actually depends on your end application. so uh, what do you want to prioritize or what devices you have or what or task uh, the artos is running so depending on uh, you know the uh, physical use case you can ask priorities to different tasks and the last fun last parameter as i said uh, you know this mm, can be used to pass back a handle uh, to the task uh, which created this particular task so this can the last parameter can be a little confusing so we will use it Uh, a little later so for now it's null now let me go ahead and show you a simple example wherein we'll create uh, three tasks and i'll also create a task called the idle task and the first three tasks will have priorities 1 2 and 3 and uh, the idle task as the name suggests it will run only when there are no other tasks running now let me just go ahead and show you uh, the code here now as you could see uh you know uh, there are uh, there is the artos configuration file and uh, the artos header file the task file c routines file and the uart file so the uart file is the uh, uart library that we have written so all the uh, you know switching of task we will show that on the uart now so these are the four functions as i said or four tasks that i said this is my task 1 2 3 and this is my task idle so there are function prototypes for all of these four now uh, what we do is we initialize the system so this configures configures the uh, 1768 explore uh, you know cortex entry board and then we initialize the uart at 38400 baud rate now what we do next is we use the x task create function which i have discussed earlier and we create this my task 1 we call uh, the dummy name is task 1 and it has stack size of 80 bytes uh, then there are no you know we are not passing any parameters to this particular task uh, my task 1 its priority is 1 and it will not return back a handle so these are the three tasks and there is also uh, my task i my idle task and uh, its priority is task idle priority so what this means is you know this uh it, it will only run when these three are uh, not running now uh, who decides and you know uh, what task should run and who checks for the priorities of the of the task so that is done by the scheduler and we can start the scheduler with the v task scheduler function 
now whenever we are in this main code uh, we will print a message saying that uh, you know we are in the main now now as we have seen uh, uh, we have created uh, four tasks here and we have scheduled a task now let's just go ahead and show you the code in the task now uh, the first thing you could observe is uh, there are parameters that can be passed to the uh, task which are not done in this case so uh, so you should look here so it looks as if it is an individual main program with a while one which uh, you know loops through continuously and we are not breaking this we are not doing anything uh, but still you know the scheduler it will switch the task now there is one more important thing to note here this v task delay function now this is not the normal delay function which would just you know waste 100 milliseconds of the processor time what this does is uh, it tells that this particular task will go to a block state till this 100 milliseconds uh, elapse and then you know the uh, during that time of 100 milliseconds other tasks could run and they could perform their operations and this is the goal of this particular tutorial to show you how uh, you know tasks are created and how tasks are switched by the scheduler so now if we just scroll down a little uh, this task has a delay of 100 milliseconds this 250 and this 600 and this is the ideal task now what should happen is uh, first uh, this should uh, run and it will print a message saying uh, task 1 and then uh, this goes into block state uh, since 100 millisecond delay has been called now now the scheduler uh, since this has gone in the delay it will it will it will bring this into the uh, from the ready state it will bring task 2 into the running state because it has the second priority then it prints a message and goes for 250 millisecond delay now what you could observe is uh, you know the third task could not run because before the second task ends uh, when 100 milliseconds have elapsed from the beginning the first task could again uh, come back to life and it will print this message uh, task 1 so similarly uh, you know uh, a task 3 is scheduled and if nothing is running uh, it, it will it will call the idle task and idle task will run so i'll show you the demo in just a minute 